Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will factor polynomials with common monomial factor. Let us begin. Example number 1, let us factor 12x squared plus 42x. Our first step is to determine the GCF or the greatest common factor. We will be using prime factorization in this example. Let us begin with 12x squared. The numerical coefficient is 12 and 12 is equal to 2 times 6 and 6 is equal to 2 times 3. It means the 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3. For the variable, x squared is equal to x times x. And 12x squared is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times x times x. Next is 42x. The numerical coefficient is 42 and it is equal to 2 times 21. And 21 is equal to 3 times 7. 42 is equal to 2 times 3 times 7. For the variable, since the exponent is 1, we only have x here. And 42x is equal to 2 times 3 times 7 times x. Let us determine the GCF. Since 2 is common, 3 is common, and x is common, we have 2 times 3 times x, and it is equal to 6x. And this is the greatest common monomial factor. Let us factor out the GCF, which is equal to 6x, and let us determine the other factor, by dividing the GCF to each term in 12x squared plus 42x. 12x squared divided by 6x is equal to 2x. And 42x divided by 6x equals 7. And the other factor is 2x plus 7. It means that 12 x squared plus 42x is equal to 6x times the quantity 2x plus 7. Next example, let us factor 35x raised to 6 minus 14x raised to 4. Let us find the GCF. Between 35 and negative 14, the GCF is equal to 7. Between x raised to 6 and x raised to 4, the GCF is x raised to 4. And the greatest common factor is 7x raised to 4. Let us factor out the GCF, 7x raised to 4, and let us determine the other factor. 35x raised to 6 divided by 7x raised to 4 is equal to 5x squared. And negative 14x raised to 4 divided by 7x raised to 4 equals negative 2. And the other factor is 5x squared minus 2. 35x raised to 6 minus 14x raised to 4 is equal to 7x raised to 4 times the quantity 5x squared minus 2. Next example, let us factor 30x raised to 5 plus 40x raised to 4 minus 25x cubed. Let us determine the GCF. Between 30, 40, and negative 25, the GCF is equal to 5. Between x raised to 5, x raised to 4, and x cubed, the GCF is x cubed. And the greatest common factor is equal to 5x cubed. Let us factor out 5x cubed 
and let us determine the other factor. 30x raised to 5 divided by 5x cubed is equal to 6x squared. 40x raised to 4 divided by 5x cubed is equal to 8x. And negative 25x cubed divided by 5x cubed is equal to negative 5. And the other factor is 6x squared plus 8x minus 5. It means that 30x raised to 5 plus 40x raised to 4 minus 25x cubed is equal to 5x cubed times the quantity 6x squared plus 8x minus 5. Last example, let us factor 4x cubed y squared plus 12xy raised to 5 minus 20x cubed y cubed. Let us find the GCF. Between 4, 12, and negative 20, the GCF is equal to 4. Between x cubed, x, and x cubed, the GCF is equal to x. Between y squared, y raised to 5, and y cubed, the GCF is y squared. Let us factor out 4xy squared and let us determine the other factor. First, we have 4x cubed y squared divided by 4xy squared. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1 x cubed divided by x is equal to x raised to 3 minus 1, which is equal to x squared, and y squared divided by y squared equals 1. 1 times x squared times 1 is equal to x squared. Next, we have 12xy raised to 5 divided by 4xy squared. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. x divided by x is equal to 1. y raised to 5 divided by y squared is equal to y raised to 5 minus 2, which is equal to y cubed. 3 times 1 times y cubed is equal to 3y cubed. Next, we have negative 20x cubed y cubed divided by 4xy squared. Negative 20 divided by 4 is equal to negative 5. x cubed divided by x is equal to x raised to 3 minus 1, which is equal to x squared. And y cubed divided by y squared is equal to y raised to 3 minus 2, which is equal to y. Negative 5 times x squared times y is equal to negative 5 x squared y. And the other factor is x squared plus 3y cubed minus 5 x squared y. And that is how to factor polynomials with common monomial factor. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.